was a colorful celebration marked with singing, dancing as Christians of, of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon, worshipping at peace in Tambulung, joined in the celebration of the 64th anniversary of the PCC. <laughs> In a sermon focusing on the theme of this year's celebration, Wake Up, Arise and Shine, the Presbyterian Secretary for Mizam, the Reverend Guahosia, drawing inspiration from Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, called on the Christians to pray for the nation and for forgiveness. Considering that we are in a crisis moment, and these are the moments that Christians need to hear appeasement and to have appeasement make practicable. Christ's love must be preached and that is why the moderator of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon is asking all the pastors to preach love and to ask Christians in their ranks and file to rise up, wake up, and keep the light of the gospel burning. I pray everybody could recall his or her act at this moment and let love precede all of our acts. While praying for the future of the church, while praying for the nation of Cameroon, we also pray for forgiveness. Remember Jesus Christ exhibited this on the cross when he prayed asking God to forgive even those who killed him for they did not know what they were doing. Love should be primordial. Love should take the place of all the atrocities that nature and humanity has brought before us. The Presbytery Chair, who doubles as the Congregational Chairperson, Mrs. Nana Anastasia, read out the message of the moderator of the PCC, the Right Reverend Funky Samuel Foba, in which he called on the Christians to be steadfast in prayers despite the challenges. One thing from that message is that Christians should get up and go out in the great commission that Christ gave us to spread the good news, not only by talking, but by our actions, like the pastor said in his message also, we can try to correct some of the ills that is taking place in our community. Some of the Christians say it is a great joy to celebrate the strides of the church at 64 after gaining independence from the Basel mission in 1957. If you know, before this church, uh, Presbyterian church, we were called Basel mission because it originated from Switzerland. Because Basel is a town in Switzerland. We are very happy that we are still alive and we still continue to enjoy these feast days, which is the 64th feast day. At least we have also enjoyed maybe about 10 feast days, but I have enjoyed about 40 feast days or 50. So I'm very grateful that this day has met me and I'm enjoying myself and I enjoy myself with my friends, Christians and my brothers. We are 64 years today and that is why we are celebrating this day in a very special way because we know that the church has grown, it has expanded and that all, most of the Christians of PCC, they are now ready to render more exploits to God and to ensure that the gospel reach, reaches all the ends of the earth. So we use this day to reflect. We have given a mission fund for evangelization so that the church can carry out more evangelistic programs so that the whole world should know about God so that we can live in loving one another and be each and everyone's keeper. And the aspect of corruption, assimilation and all one not will all be wired out. That is my concern and that is why I'm celebrating because we are standing up again to realize where we are coming from and see, look forward to where we are going to. Church services to celebrate this day across PCC congregations was dedicated to pray for the little girl killed in Bamenda as well as all those killed in the northwest and southwest regions due to the ongoing crisis.